Hello my dear friends, Namaskar! Feel the heart! Welcome back once again into another video lesson and in the video we are actually going to learn a very important part of grammar, very very important part of grammar and this question was asked by Thankas in, I don't know how to pronounce, Thankas or Thankas uh, in Dharmashala. Thankas in Dharmashala, it sounds like a hotel name but anyways, uh, dear beautiful sister, here I'm going to answer your question. Your question was regarding ne, okay? I think it's gonna be useful for everybody. So how do we use ne in Hindi language? Uh, so I have made a small presentation for you guys. As you can see, you know, the use of ne are three places, simple past and present perfect, okay? And past perfect. These are the three tenses in which we use ne, okay? The subject is going to take ne. And the subject can be a noun and can be a pronoun, okay? A pronoun has a very interesting story that we'll talk later and uh, the noun like name Anil, Sunil, Gita, Sita like those you know uh, they all take uh, ne and when do they take ne okay that is also another question so first thing you have to remember is three places where we use a ne past indefinite tense, present perfect tense and past perfect tense these are the suitable places where we may see ne but not in every cases what are those cases Whenever the tense, whenever the sentence, you know, in that tense, whenever the sentence is having a transitive verb, okay, transitive verb, which needs an object to complete the sentence, okay, transitive verb. This is, this is the main condition, like if the verb in the sentence is transitive, then only that will take name, okay. And now how do you decide the verb is transitive or intransitive verb, okay. Very simple, you can ask two questions what and who okay these two questions ask what and who if you get both answer you know all the time if you get both answer you're done i mean there the subject will take nay if any of the answer is not possible but either if you don't get answer for what or for who that's not gonna apply okay you have to get both answer both answer is compulsory to apply nay okay i've taken some example here you can see here a past indefinite tense I cooked rice. Let me go here. Okay. I cooked rice. Mane chawal pakaya. Okay. I have used here ne. I have underlined here. Mane chawal pakaya. So, how do I know that cook is a transitive verb? Okay. Those two questions I have to ask. What? So, what I cooked? I cooked rice. I got the answer, right? First answer I got. Second one is who cooked the rice? I cooked the rice. So, I have answered what i cooked and i have also answered who cooked okay so both answers we have so that is why cooking you know the to cook is a transitive verb okay simple so since it is a transitive verb then the subject will take ne okay so i in hindi we say me so me ne chawal pakaya okay in the similar way now in present perfect tense it goes i have cooked the rice okay so i have cooked the rice me ne chawal pakaya hai Okay, maine chawal pakaya hai. Exactly the same thing in the past perfect tense. I had cooked rice. Maine chawal pakaya tha. Okay, maine chawal pakaya tha. So remember here, maine only because cooking, because cooking, cooking, uh, cooking is transitive verb. Remember that. I have another example here. Take a look. I went to school. Okay, I went to school. So here. I have to first decide whether going, went is actually the verb go, jana, is a transitive verb or not. So again, that two rule will apply. I have to first ask what, okay? What, do I have the answer? What? No. And who, I have the answer, me. I have the answer for the who, you know? I have the answer for the who, but I didn't have the answer for the what, okay? So I need to get answer for the what as well as for the who, okay? So I don't have one answer. And the rule is we need to get answer for the both. It means go is intransitive verb. Okay, jana, the Hindi form, is intransitive verb. So that means I will not use ne here. Okay, that is why me part sala gaya. Okay, me part sala gaya. I went to school. Now, if you see in the present perfect tense, me part sala gaya hun. Okay, me part sala gaya. Hmm. If you see in past perfect, me part sala gaya tha. Okay, me part sala gaya tha. So, just 
remember two things here. First, where we apply this. We apply in past indefinite tense and uh, present perfect and past perfect. And in those tenses, only those sentences will use, uh, only the subject of those sentences will use ne, whose verb is transitive. That's only the rule, okay? Now, uh, you will see this often when you will see, uh, as I said, like with the pronouns, I have a very interesting story. So, I mean, uh, which should I write it? <laughs> I don't know which should I write it. All right. So, mene means I, when I is the subject. Tumne, when uh, in a semi-informal way, you say you. And apne, in formal way, you. And tune is intimate case or informal okay hamne when we say usne he see it okay but uh, far and again he see it but near will be isne and now unne or unhone there are two cases it can be plural or it can be singular under honorary form you know like respectful form like father that you know like dad mom guruji whatever anil very respectful form <laughs> inne uh, again uh, when they are near, okay, U endings are far and E endings are close, okay. So when you wanna, when your subject is they, you know, then it will be here, you know, they, but they are close here, they, but far, okay. These things we'll talk in the topic of pronoun. I hope uh, pretty much I cleared the doubt. Uh, I want to give you more uh, some examples uh, how to like uh, figure out whether they are transitive or not, whether the 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 sentence will take the uh, ne or not. Okay, let's say. Not, okay, let's say. Not, okay. Uh, I taught Hindi. Okay. Now simply ask the question. Now ask the question. What do you have the answer? I taught Hindi. What I taught? I taught Hindi, right? And then who taught? Now another question is who? Who taught? I taught. So I have answered for the what as well as who. Uh, another example we can take. I slept on bed okay so I slept on bed again you can ask the question what do you have the answer for the what no we don't have answer who I have the answer I so we don't have the both answer it means it's not gonna take the transitive uh, it's not gonna take the name but this will take the name so if I translate it, this in Hindi it will be me me the basic trick to figure out the use of me in the subject or not okay i hope it was helpful thank us in dharmsala if i ever come dharmsala uh, and if that is the really the name of a hotel or a motel i would love to be there and please if you see this video or definitely i will send you the link please do comment uh, in the video i will be very happy to see <laughs> and uh, enjoy life my dear beautiful brother and sisters feel the heart and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Catch me also on Facebook, Twitter, Google Post, Penny Test everywhere. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. If you have any more questions, simple questions like this, you know, don't give me like the whole thing to translate. You guys send me and I can't work on that. I didn't have time to translate those whole bunch of pages. I can't do that. And you guys send me the songs to translate. I can't do that. Okay, don't send me the songs to translate or something which is big. Ask me small questions so that I can quickly reply. I get lots of comments and those things I cannot reply. But if you if you ask me simple questions, you know, I will definitely do it, okay? And uh, these days, uh, I'm putting uh, more of your questions, you know, request uh, into the video format. So feel free. Uh, if they are cute and beautiful, not you, the questions, I will definitely answer. Bye-bye. <laughs>